Big plans this weekend? If so, you may never get to them. If you believe a Christian broadcaster and all the people around the world who seem to buy his prediction that we are just hours away from the end of the world. NBC's Kerry Sanders has more on what the believers say is the beginning of the end. From Northern California. May 21 will be the day of judgment. To Central Florida. You would see the glory of God. And everywhere in between. There's going to be an end of the world. The word is, tomorrow our world ends at supper time. That calculation from 89-year-old Harold Camping. It will begin uh, with a huge earthquake. Who, since his predictions, has gone underground. Kerry, could you interview Mr. Camping next week? Absolutely not. It will not happen because he won't be here after tomorrow. Camping claims tomorrow is the rapture, when true believers are taken to heaven. Why tomorrow? It's all in the math. If you go from 4990 B.C. and you add 2011 minus 1. Camping says it's clear the biblical story of Noah's Ark when the earth flooded exactly 7,000 years ago set the table for another apocalypse tomorrow. Some are taking the news rather well. No, cooking for my husband or, you know, cleaning up the house, done. But others spent the day warning that those who do not accept Jesus now will be left behind. There is no one that believes this message along with me. Your seven Absolutely. brothers and sisters, your no son. No one. They no think one. You're crazy. Nobody ever says, you know what, we were wrong. This was a completely bad idea. So let's just say tomorrow is the end. What would you do? Me, I think... I'll relax and listen to some REM. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Clearwater, Florida.